Hi, welcome back to my channel Physics from Fog SSM. Continue chapter 2 on topic 2.6 force. In this video, I want to discuss on uh, formative practice 2.6. You can refer to your textbook. You go and try first uh, to answer the question, then you can come back to check the answer. Okay, number one, a force F acts on a body of mass 5 kg. Okay, if a body accelerates uniformly from 2 meter per second to 8 meter per second in 2 seconds, determine the value of F. Okay, uh, firstly, when you read a question that involves so many values, uh, what you do, you need to list out all the information given. For example, the initial velocity u equals to 2 meter per second, final velocity 8 meter per second, time taken t 2 second. If you want to determine the value of f, the formula that need to use is f equals to ma. Value of m is given 5 kg, but the value of acceleration is not given, meaning you need to determine the value of acceleration first. So use the formula A equals B minus U divided by T. You substitute all the values given here. So 8 minus 2 divided by 2. Thus we get 6 divided by 2 equals to 3 meter per second squared. So the force or the value of F equals to Ma, mass 5 kilogram times acceleration, thus we get 15 newton. Okay, so this is the answer. A B, if F equals to 10 Newton, determine the displacement of the body 6 seconds after the body starts to move from rest. So firstly, you can list out all the information. So U equals to 0 meter second to the power negative 1. Time equals to 6 second. F equals to 10 seconds. So you need to determine displacement. S. Firstly, you need to determine acceleration. So F equals to Ma, F is 10, mass is 5 kilogram, huh, given from the first part here. So you calculate for acceleration, so you get A equals 2 meter second to the power, negative 2. So in order to determine displacement, you can use linear motion equation. Because this one is the case of constant acceleration. Okay. So S equals to UT plus half AT squared because we, because we don't have the value of B. So S equals to 0 times 6 plus half times 2 times 6 squared. Thus we get 36 meter. Okay, number 2. A force of 80 Newton acts on a stationary object for 7 seconds and causes the object to reach a velocity of 35 meter second to the power negative 2. Calculate A, the mass of the object. The formula that we need to use, F equals to Ma. If you want to determine mass, there must be the value of F and acceleration. The value of F is already given here, but we don't have the value of A, meaning we need to determine the value of acceleration first. Okay, so initial velocity equals to zero because okay, stationary object. Okay. Final velocity 35 meter second to the power negative 2, time taken. 7 second. So use formula A equals V minus U divided by T. So we get 35 minus 0 divided by 7. So we get 5 meter second to the power 
negative 2. Then we can apply the formula F equals to MA. Substitute eh, the value of F, AP. Substitute the value of A5. Thus we get M equals to 16 kilogram. So that one is the mass of the object. B, displacement of the object. So we have all the values here, U, V, T and A. Okay, so we can use this formula. V squared equals to U squared plus 2 AS. So the V is 35, so 35 squared equals to 0 squared plus 2 times 5 S. So you solve for this one, you will get... One hundred and twenty-two point five meter. Okay, so this one is displacement of the objects. Okay, so that's all for this uh, formative practice two point six. You can go and try more examples on this, and you will continue to study on this topic in, in form five. Huh? Okay, that's all. Bye.